Farmers are looking everywhere for advantages in 2024. And for this week's tech segment, Chad Colby brings us an update on a government tax code section that allows some farmers to depreciate the minerals value in their fertilizer. We'll let Chad come with more details. So I love talking about technology, that's no secret. But on this week's tech segment, little bit of different technology. I've got a farmer friend of mine from Iowa. Dave, let's talk a little bit about something I think most farmers don't know about. We know about depreciating section 179. Talk about section 180. It's it's interesting to me. Yeah, section 180 goes out. Uh, I've worked with the Boa Saffir folks on my land, and they go out and they quantify the value of the minerals and nutrients in that top six and three quarters inches. That uh, They'll cap give you a capital asset value on that, which then you can take off your taxes. And in the U.S., uh, the average uh, value is about $1,500 to $2,000. So in reality, that puts about $500 of real cash value in your pocket. You know, it's interesting. When you told me about this a few weeks ago, I went and did a little research. These guys have been doing this for several years across the country, and you did it on your family farm at home. What advice would you give to farmers? This to me looks like a must do in my opinion. The best thing for me is I didn't have to go out and buy a new machine right. to take advantage of this tax deduction. It was already, I owned it on my 240 acres there in central Iowa. So talk about the process. It's pretty easy to do. Pretty straightforward. I contacted them, filled out a form, gave them my legal descriptions. They deployed their soil sampling crew and uh, then it had a shelf ready report for my CPA that was signed, sealed, and delivered, ready to go. And the beautiful thing about it is they have a CPA on staff that backs it up, but they also have Paul Niefer as an advisor, world-renowned uh, CPA that's also backing this report up. Well, it's interesting. I think it's like any other technology. You gotta do, do your own research. So if you go to colbyagtech.com at the top, I put a section 180 up there. Go do your homework. And Dave, I appreciate you coming over here and kind of sharing a little bit more about this in the climate we're in in agriculture, I think everybody's looking for that next advantage, and I think this is a pretty good one. Like I said, with commodity prices headed to the direction they are, we're always looking for an uh, opportunity within our tax code, within the tax opportunity. Thank you, Chad. And folks, a reminder, we are not accountants here at This Week in Agribusiness, so consult your professional tax preparer before making any changes. Stick around. We'll have more This Week in Agribusiness when we come back.